Hello everybody, my name is Nathan from the Pixel Factory and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the epic Icon Mod flank. As you can see, the main choke point right there. And if you watch really closely, you'll see me as Lucio flanking around the outside of the map and getting way behind the enemy. Like, look at this. There's the point right there and that's the choke. That, I crossed that much distance. You know, you could do this as a couple other heroes, including Farah. Uh, of course, you can do it as Farah. She has jump jets. Very, very uh, easy to do. I don't even need a HUD to see my uh, fuel in the jetpack. I can just kind of dash around, and then when I see myself dropping, I just jump shit out of there. See, very, very easy to go around as Farah. Lucio and Farah are probably the easiest two to do this. Now, you can do it as four characters. Farah, Lucio, D.Va, as you can see now, in Genji. D.Va and Genji are pretty difficult to do. It took me three tries to do this one on D.Va. What you gotta do is you gotta get a perfect jump off just to maintain the right amount of height. And then you gotta aim for the spot closest to the side of the wall. As you can see there, I missed up. You also have to have a really good uh, really good leap off too. See right there, I initiated my jump jets too late and I fell too, much, too far, which caused me to have to go redo. Now here you can see me lifting up the front of my a mech at the very end, which allowed me to get over the very last, very last part of the flank. Now, as Genji, of course, Genji is also quite difficult, and it took me a while to figure out this route that you have to do. But pretty much you have to do is jump off the edge, climb up the wall as high as you go, jump, and then dash. And then, if you time it right, you should be able to get the inside corner there between the wall and the railing. And this concludes my presentation of the epic Eichenwald flank. I would be really interested to see what would happen if the attacking team in a professional competitive game knew this flank and the defending team didn't. Like, I'd be interested to see what kind of flank push hybrid could be used out of this um, uh, somewhat map exploit, somewhat flank, I don't really know what to call it. Um, go leave me a comment down below on what your opinion would be on this subject. Um, anyway, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this kind of stuff, and subscribe if you want to see more. I've been Nathan from The Pixel Factory, and see you all in the next video. Goodbye.